Hi, welcome to Five Questions with Rochelle, where we explore the thinking, the regenerative thinking behind our decision making. So come along and join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, Martin. Thanks for uh, talking to me today. Um, we're really excited to be up here in Ningen and actually seeing each other in person for a change. Firstly, could you just give an introdu introduction uh, about yourself, just a couple of minutes about who you are and what you're doing? As far as the regenerative agriculture stuff goes, been on this journey for sort of 20 years or a bit more now. Year 2000 did a course with uh, RCS in Kununurra in Western Australia yep. and Arden Anderson was the keynote speaker there and sort of just been down the rabbit hole ever since. <laughs> and then like you know with it, it's not, it's, it's one rabbit hole but there's lots of other Absolutely. bits in it too yep. and then it's all about bringing it out and um, putting it together holistically. Yep. Uh, just working with some guys here, um, pushing the envelope with the regenerative agriculture stuff, uh, no-kill cropping and mixed species uh, and that sort of stuff, trying to iron the bugs out of it, yeah. work out how it fits into the big picture. Uh, and all the time it's about making some bucks out of it as well. So we've yeah. uh, that's the thing I'm finding now is... Uh, Everyone's always asking the economic questions, and yes, that's very valid, and you do have to be um, make it work financially or economically. Um, but the the big one that I'm finding is we've got to be ecological, and we've got to ask the ecological questions, and then we've got to be working out how we are travelling ecologically. So that's about improving the carbon in our soils and improving diversity, yep. and that sort of thing. And there's a uh, what I'm finding is it's a, it's the way of thinking. We've got to think about things completely different. Well, not completely different, but from other angles and put together different perspectives <clears throat> as to how how we make it all work. Uh, we we can't just trick up the old chemical uh, artificial fert system and think we're regenerative. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole start again. Well. No, uh, yeah, start again sort of thing, but we got to replace the old system with a new system. Yeah. And what we're finding, like you've been part of the um, soil restoration farming coaching community the last four months now, but it's a lot about the thinking. And, you know, that's what you, you came no knowing that. But, um, but, yeah, what we're really doing this for is to, um, to try and get into the minds of people, you know, how, how they're looking at the farm, how they're looking at, you know, all their decision making. Um, one question we love to ask is, yeah, so what's the most important thing that you're going to be thinking about for, um, for 2022? Ah, <laughs> that is, these are the questions and, it, and, and that's important that we have, we have the questions. Uh, yeah, 2022, we got all this um, craziness behind us, we hope, or, well, we don't know where that's going to happen. But anyway, the thing is with that, We've got to keep our eyes and our ears open. Uh, that's not just to the the COVID stuff that's going on and not just to um, our regenerative farming. Um, it's, you know, we've got to, it's our, our family stuff, our spiritual stuff, the whole thing. So back to that whole being holistic yeah. again and putting the big picture together. And I think something that I need to look in the mirror some more on, but it's um, pretty important to you know, uh, be in the now, that's that's where it happens because all the past behind us, all the future's still coming and it's right here, right now, that's yep, that's where it's at. <clears throat> you know, that's why, just savouring the moment, be by the lemon tree, yep. in amongst <laughs> the pumpkins and listening bees to Bees flying past. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, we did get distracted <laughs> with the bee there before. <laughs> and, and he wasn't a regular, like he wasn't a honeybee either. I think he wanted to be part of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> he was something. He was something different. Yeah, yeah. Part of God's creation. Yeah. What is it that you're going to be working on in particular this year? I think we got to get back to the basics all the time too. So there's a there's a fair bit of Martin stuff that Martin's got to work on. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, that that's got to be. Put on the agenda and then um, and then rolled out. Yeah. So. Uh, so is that something you can do on your own, or do you think oh, you need support? Uh, yeah, that um, that's the other thing about it. You know, what are, what's that saying where they say a problem 
shared is a problem mm -hmm. halved or yep. solved or something like that yep. you know so um and and uh just uh, and then that gets back to our robust discussion stuff and i really do appreciate the um the time that you and i spend on the phone having talks and it's and it always is about about everything and the big picture stuff like we're not we're not just talking about who won the footy yeah and that sort of shallow <laughs> stuff because i wouldn't care anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um I, and so yeah yeah it, and and i know the other the other week when i got on the the zoom for the for the for the uh the coaching group i just i just needed to be with all the guys that were in our coaching group that that was the sort of day i was having and it um and it helped no end you know so yeah um that's really cool so i'm hearing that yeah the thinking thinking and working on yourself and that sort of needs support with other people is sort of you know yeah carrying on those robust discussions that you can't just have on your own because you might go crazy <laughs> um that that's important for 2022 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yep. When it gets back to this thinking, is when we get to a different, oh, say, system of thinking, and 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 a, a, a new line of inquiry, uh, we sort of, and when we're not just in the mainstream, we're out on the fringe. Other people aren't out there doing it, and ha who, and what, and how do we bounce? our ideas off yeah and that's what i'm finding is that um people coming to me just to bounce ideas and they just want to tell their story so you can think it up in your head but it's when you verbalize it and tell it to somebody else that's the first step yeah. in in getting it to roll out yeah and people just love to have someone like that that they can roll that out with so is that something you wanted to do more of oh yeah or, for sure yeah. I, I i i i like doing that um and because I can just hear that people are are moving forward and they've got good thinking happening, and they just most of all they're just looking for someone to say, "Oh, that's you know sounds all good." You're not crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> have yeah. a crack, you know, yeah. roll it out. Yep. And but then with it, with rolling it out too is you can't just have some crazy ideas and then just go and roll them out and think you're going to solve all the problems of the world right there. Um, we've still got to uh, have a plan about how we're doing it as much as anything with some of this stuff that we're doing regenerative when we take away some of our crutches that we use with the chemicals and the fertilizers and whatever things like that when we take those props out of the system um timeliness is yeah. very 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 important yeah. um like out at shane's this year we planted a crop late and uh, it didn't go very well at all it, it was even on the bottom side of okay but then the the jury's still out as to where it is ecologically. So <clears throat> with that crop coming through there with all its um, companion plants, the low successional companion plants and that sort of thing, um, we've got a fantastic ground cover out there now. Yeah, right. Uh, plenty of diversity. All of those plants ran their race for the year. So they started and they went right through and finished. So they've done their whole cycle. So and if you're just looking at it as a crop, it didn't seem like, like a success. Yeah, yeah but, when we just yeah. talk about the dollars, mm. it wasn't so successful. Um, but when we're talking about it ecologically, um, I think we're going in the right direction because yeah. we've got ground cover and we've got diversity. Yeah. But that's, and that's the, the thing though too, is that we've got to bring these two things together. Yeah. We can't go doing ecological stuff and not making any yeah. money out of it. Because yeah. at the end of the day too, farming is a business and we absolutely have to treat it that way. So um, looking into, again, to next year, um, wanting to have more robust discussions and help other people in this area as well, what what sort of obstacles or challenges do you think will be in the way of you, you getting to have those discussions? Martin's biggest holdback is Martin. Yeah, <laughs> perfectly put. It usually is just us, isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's, and that was what I said, you know, we um, yeah. got to get a handle on some of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and uh, not just a handle on it, I suppose. That's where we get to with when, oh, we've had all the information, you know, put, yeah. put up your goals, um, mm. work out what they are, and then um, get busy and, um, and, and get on with it. Get um, on with it. 
Yeah. Yeah, and that's 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 life, isn't it? And out of all of this stuff, I think uh, basically what we're put here to do is just be on a personal journey, uh, and 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 get it, 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 it's a test. Yeah. <laughs> Life's just a test of. Uh, getting your personality together and, and I think it's a journey we don't want to do on our own is the other thing oh, yeah. humans yeah. are absolutely social creatures mm -hmm. and if uh, if there was a you know, if we were just looking at this mechanically yeah. um, if there's a glitch in the, in the whole human thing it's a, it's around about their social ability and yeah. that sort of thing um, yeah because that's quite often where where the fly gets in the ointment, and you just say, you know, why, why did that person do that? Yeah. And um, it's just part of them being part of the of, of society and being part of the herd too. Yeah. So there's a lot of that. Um, oh, the animal behaviour stuff uh, that that we we look at and study with Fred Provenza and and that sort of thing. Uh, that all shows through in in the human part if, uh, if you if you look at it hard enough and deep enough and there was something we were talking about there last night and it's about the, the looking in the mirror type stuff the, the things that if you're finding something in somebody else that's bugging you um, more than likely <laughs> that's going to be one of your shortcomings yes yeah Kim Dean's been telling <coughs> us about that last week in the session if you spot it you got it yeah yeah, yeah. so anyway there, I guess there's all these things that we yeah. We have to be mindful of too. So, one last question. If you were to win the lottery, oh. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> oh. In other words, if money was no concern. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, having, a, having a farm that was running regeneratively and doing all those sort of things would be, uh, would be up there. Yeah. I suppose. The the really big thing I see is that is just educating um, the stuff. And then it comes back to what we were talking about in the beginning. Part of education is about how you think. Yeah. So you've got to get back to your thinking. Yeah. Um, like a, a, a thing that impacted me forever is when Gabe Brown, you know, we all love Gabe, um, he was saying how he'd, one of the smartest farmers he knew was a mate of his. Um, and why he was so smart is because he had a drought plan. <clears throat> and I got to thinking about that, and you know, that, that's, that's absolutely a very smart thing to do. So as your feed starts dropping off, or as your rainfall starts dropping off, or whatever it is, um, you've got to have a, 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 well, something to be able to roll out. One of the things that everyone does is they always um, plan for an average season. Your average season is three out of 11 seasons or something. So then you've got eight that you're dealing with that are not average. And if you're planning for average, well, you're not, yeah. you're not working with what you're going to get there. But how is this for an idea? Is what if you uh, worked out, like say you looked up your rainfall statistics or whatever, and, or looked up and even asked your grandfather or anybody what the worst year they ever had was, yes, yeah. right? And you take that scenario and then you ask the same question to the same guys and what was the best year that you ever had? And then you make a plan for the worst year yeah. and then you make a plan for the best year. Well, you've got all your bases covered then, haven't yep. you? <laughs> so somewhere in the middle, like if you, if you know what's the worst case scenario and the best case scenario, somewhere you can mix and match it to... Yeah this scenario. So you would, if you won the lottery, you'd like to demonstrate that on your own big property? I, I quite often say to guys, uh, when we're looking back or whatever, we can only look back so far, but what about getting and talking to some of the older guys in the community and, and then asking them questions? It's all about questions. You've got to ask yeah. the right questions. If you, get, if you ask the right questions, you'll get the answers. I've spoken to one fellow years ago in Canada and he said, a long time ago, they used to grow crops together. Yeah, right. You know, so and so it's back not, to indigenous this, time. <clears throat> this yeah. mixed species is not just mm. you know something that um, that that mm. came up in the last ten years or whatever. Like yeah. guys were doing it way before. Sort of so stuff. it's like people 
like our crops, we can't do it alone. We need to do it yeah. with diverse mixes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our diversity. Yeah, um, yeah. Variety is the spice of life. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I think we've got a lot more than the five questions, but that doesn't surprise me with you, Martin. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we'll carry on our travels and, um, yeah, see you for the next five questions. Thanks.